Hello guys, welcome back. Let's talk about HTML table styling. How to style your table in HTML. So we're going to use CSS properties to make sure that our tables look better. Okay, that's what we're going to do. So here we already know how to create a table in HTML using the table tag or the table element and the table rows, the table headers, the table data and all of that. So this is what we have as a result of that. So we are going to use CSS properties to actually make this particular table look much more better. So now the first thing we are going to do is that we will use the table border collapse here. So we we'll say border collapse and we will assign the value collapse. All right, so that's what will happen here. And then we want our color, the color of our border to be white. So this is now how it's going to show on the screen. OK, so if we want to style, for example, we want to give a background, we want to add some background color on every other table row we will get what we call in the vernacular uh, a zebra stripe table effect okay so i'm i'm going to show you how to do that in using css properties so in order for you to style every other table row element you can use um, this particular css property so you will say table row tr like this and th hyphen child and then here you are going to determine if it is going to be an even child for example and then curly braces so inside the curly braces we will write background color so this is a css property and specify the color that you want to give so we say like this, semicolon. So now when you do it like this, you can see how your particular table is showing on the screen. So we can also do this for, for example, for the header, you will simply say like this, let me just copy it. So instead of saying um, TR here, you say TH. And if you want a different color for your header, for example, you see for your header, you can have a different color here. Or if you don't want to actually give a background color to any other, on every other, you know, header, uh, say a column, or cell, what you will say, you will simply say th like this and set the background color to this one. Okay, or maybe you will say that you want it to be, um, to have a different color. If we say ff here, now you see the, a different color showing. If this is zero, zero, now you can see how it's shown. All right. So that's how you can actually um, apply a background color on every other table row. That's what we have done here. So if you say, for example, that um, we come back like this, we want to use the same color and if you say that you want to use odd rows, the styling is going to be different. For example, instead of saying even here, you say odd. Now you see how this is going to show. Okay. So that's basically what I wanted to show you 
uh, here. So now, what if you want to apply some um, vertical zebra stripe? Okay. Uh, so here it is applying vertically, uh, horizontally. Okay. What if you want it to be vertical? So in order to make vertical zebra stripe, um, we are going to style every other column. Okay, so that's what I mean by vertical zebra stripe. Instead of uh, styling every other row. Okay, so one way to do that is that we will say table data like this. We will give it a particular color. And we will say uh, odd here, or we can even say even like this. So if you say table data, now you have uh, your vertical zebra stripe on the screen. Okay, so we can even um, apply that to our headers. So what we are going to do, we will say, copy this, comma here, paste. So instead of TD here, we will say TH. So that is going to be for the header as well. So that's basically how you can do vertical zebra stripes. Okay. But what if you want to combine both the vertical and the horizontal zebra stripe? So if you can combine the styling from the two examples above, um, you will have stripes on every other row and every other column. And if you want, uh, if you use a transparent color, you will get an overlapping effect as well. So in order to do that, what we are going to do is that we will keep this as it is like uh, like that. So what we are going to add is actually going to be the table row zebra stripe. So we will say like this. Instead of TD here, we will say TR for table row. So now if you say like this, And um, so this is um, I wonder why this is not working. Okay, uh, because we have we still have the comma here. If we remove the comma, there you can see how we are having at the same time the horizontal and the vertical zebra stripe all right so if we want the color to be transparent we can use the rgb um, color to so it's going to be rgba and specify the color inside and we want our color to be transparent so 0 0.5 for example so that we are going to get the overlapping effect so now if we do it like this then you can see how our table is going to show on the screen If we re reduce this, yeah, so this is how it's going to show on the screen. All right, guys, so that's it about uh, zebra stripes, how you can style your table using, um, you know, zebra stripe uh, effect and all of that. 
So now let's talk about horizontal dividers. So if you specify borders only to the top of each table row, you have a table with horizontal dividers. Okay, so in order to do that, we are going to add the border bottom property to all our table row elements in order to get the, the horizontal divider. Uh, what we're going to do here, let me just do it like this. So down here, I'll say table row and specify the border bottom. That will be, if I say two pixels, solid. And I'll say like this. If I remove border here. Now you see that we all, we are having border dividers. What if I say black? Like this. There you see how our table will show. And instead of two pixels, if I say one pixel. So that is how the table will show. All right. And uh, what if you want your table to be hoverable? Okay. Like you want when you, the cursor comes on on your table that the cells to be hoverable. So we are going to use the hover selector on our table row element in order to highlight table rows whenever the mouse cursor comes on, on, on it. That's what we are going to do. So let's just say that um, in here, table row, not in here actually what we are going to do okay so i will use the selector so i will say table row and apply the selector like this hover and inside i will say background color and then i will specify the color so that will be D6 E E E come. So now you can see when I come on the table, you know, the rows, whenever I put my cursor on a row, it is hoverable. Just to make sure that um, that's it. For example, if I change the color, now you can see whenever I hover with I hover with my mouse, you know, the table rows are being highlighted. So that's basically how you can do that. Okay. So guys, that's what I wanted to show you. You know, if you want to create, you know, nice looking tables, um, these are some of the things that you can do. The zebra stripe, the, the horizontal dividers, you know, uh, making your table rows become hoverable like this here. Okay. And there are so many other things that you can do in order to make your tables be presentable. So I hope uh, the video was informative. If you have any question, you can write that in the comment section uh, and I will be willing to reply to your question and uh, feel free to like this video and also subscribe to this YouTube channel for more videos like this one. Let's meet in the next video.